Greetings and welcome my friends to this brand new campaign my friends, this brand new series and for those of you my friends who are wondering why this has got a brand new series this series is going to be replacing my Zulu campaign which came to an end with a victory my friends of the Ottomans now I put it, I asked many, all of you what would you like to see, what would you like to see in you know, as a replacement for that campaign and overwhelmingly most of you said you'd like to see a Napoleon Total War 3 mod being used and, and the, the, the faction that sort of came out the most my friends is that the, with the highest sort of amount of want, people wanting to see was the Austro-Hungarian sort of uh, nation my friends that is what you wanted to see and that is what we're going to play today this is the brand new campaign Austro Austro-Hungarian or Austria-Hungarian campaign my friends we are going to take this challenge on as you can see here this mod gives you a huge amount of options here 20 in total the factions you can do my friends and I'm gonna go for full world domination difficulty level is the very hardest on both battle and campaign and we are going to go as you already selected here my friends we already got historical we change that again as you can see here we're going to go for right in the middle of it. We are right in the middle of this war here. We really, really are absolutely going to be stretching ourselves to the absolute limit here. But we can do this, my friends. We really, really can. I know we can do this. It's going to be difficult because we've got a lot of sort of enemies against us, particularly France. Napoleon, my friends, really is not a friend of ours at all. So we have to keep ourselves firmly disciplined here and absolutely in control of what we're doing here. So this is what you asked for, my friends. This is what we're going to play, and I'm really looking forward to it. I've never played this mod before. I have never played this faction before. So I'm doing this completely from brand new. I've never played this before at all. This is the first time I'm doing it. So you're going to be, you're going to be sort of, you know, learning with me. I've played Napoleon Total War before, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it's sort of the, you know, the basics are similar. But there are going to be obviously differences with the mod, different factions, different, you know, things they can do, they can't do. So that's the way we are. This is the replacement for Zulu campaign. You asked for Napoleon Total War 3, and you asked for, m the majority asked for this faction, the Austrian-Hungarian uh, nation to be chosen, the empire as it were to be chosen. That's what we're going to do, my friends. Let's begin this game. I have quickly checked out what it is, and there is a nice summary to start with. So we'll look at that, and then, my friends, we'll really get down to it. This, this episode is going to be an episode where we're going to start looking what we've got, planning, preparing, Building, so there might not be much action in this in this first episode, but it's just we're going to start getting ourselves on our feet because you can see it's a huge map, my friends. It really is, and we intend to take all of it, absolutely all of it. Let's begin. And look at that already! What a beautiful sight. I love this sort of painting they've done here. This picture they've done here. What a fabulous looking um, picture that is. Absolutely wonderful. I really, really do like that. It's a wonderful looking scene that is. I'd love to be able to get sort of a desktop with that. But anyway, friends, I'll be quiet now while the summary begins in earnest. Napoleon has shown no respect for the sovereignty of the independent Italian states and is now directly threatening the Habsburg-controlled Italian dominions. Together with Great Britain and Russia, Austria must deal with the little would-be emperor before he brings all Europe under his yoke. While the Royal Navy protects the seas and limits French trade capabilities, Austrian forces must march on treacherous Bavaria and Württemberg and remind them of their loyalties to the Holy Roman Empire. Meanwhile, Russian forces are mobilized and will march west to support you. At the same time, to the north, Prussia grows stronger every day. As they have remained neutral, you cannot know for sure what they plan to do and must be prepared for any eventuality. Prussia currently holds Silesia, a former Austrian possession, and they may be planning to bring other German-speaking territories under their control. Oh, oh, I can assure you, my friends, they will not be doing that. Let's have a look here. Our mission is issued straight away here. Reorganize the Austrian army. We've got a research army corps organization. The Hof and Skreister is in Vienna is the highest command agency in the Austrian army, Emperor Francis has replaced Archduke Charles with General Mack as Chief of Quartermaster General Staff to reorganize Austrian Army. So we've basically got to get our army, and we've got like a 2,000 plus reward there to the Treasury. That's going to be beautiful. So we have to research that technology, reorganize our army, get it more efficient, make it looking more disciplined, which is going to be critical, my friends, to this success in this campaign. That's something we will definitely be doing. 
So the first thing is probably if we do is have a look here at reorganising the army. There it is, or Army Corps reorganisation. The first thing the Gratz, which is the only college we've got, is going to do, and that is to do Army Corps uh, organisation. And if I'm not too much mistaken, so we've got a, gen, uh, a gentleman here which we're going to yeah. immediately oh yeah, put into there to speed him up. So there's our first task. He's already brought that by, down by three turns to twelve turns. It's going to be a while, but it's our first task, and we'd also get a nice boost to our treasury here. So let's have a look at what we start off with first. Now we've just done that quick sort of mission there, my friends. We start off with twelve thousand. Not too bad at all, but not brilliant either. But it is still a good amount of money. But we're going to have to be absolutely disciplined in where we put that. We have to find that equilibrium between army and sort of our infrastructure, our economy as it were, keeping that nicely uh, maintained. Both of them absolutely have to be sort of revamped. We are going to revamp some of these armies. We're going to take some men out of some armies, move them into others. So we're definitely going to keep, keep our eye on that for absolutely sure here. I think it's absolutely key we check our diplomacy here because we're not 100% sure. Oh, look at that, of course. Spain, we're at war with Spain down here and there as well. So Spain have got, obviously, Spain and they've also got Ta Catalonia, and they've also got Navarra here as well. But they are a good ways away from us. They could, of course, hit us down this sea, f this sea lane down here, this flank here, that juts into the Mediterranean. We're obviously, obviously, at war with Napoleon and France. Look at that, minus 330, that is scary. Minus 225. But everybody else is okay with us. And actually, they're indifferent, but we're not actually trading with the Ottomans. We can also trade with them over land. Which I think we'll do with that immediately. Because the trade agreement. Yes, excellent, my friends. Absolutely fantastic. So, straight away, we've got a trade agreement there with the Ottomans. That should improve our overall standing with them as well, which is always good. Maybe we can turn them into an ally eventually that will cover this flank here. Now, we do have. Look at the size of Russia. That is a monster. And, but it is an ally. That is absolutely fantastic to have. It's a, a good, strong ally there on our sort of, in our sort of rear as it were, so that is fantastic. Now, Austria here is friendly with us and we're trading, so hopefully, there's only plus 35, that could be a little bit dodgy in the, in the future. Keep an eye on that, we might put a garrison uh, next to the Prussians here, to, just to keep an eye on things, you never know, always got to keep an eye on things here my friends. Any of the smaller nations, oh look at that, oh and overland as well, friendly with us, we're definitely going to pull in all the trade we can here. Yes, excellent. Uh, oh, look at that. Mecl Mecklenburg, excellent. They would definitely try and get agree with all. We'll do this now to really, really push our trade up as best we can. Look at that. Portugal, excellent. They could potentially become an enemy of Spain. You never know. So I'd like to try and keep in their good books as it were. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Anybody else now? No one else. Oh, yes. Beg your pardon. Denmark, friendly. Beautiful up there in the north. Fantastic. So I think we've got everything now we can do at the moment until we upgrade our ports. Yep, so that's already, we're just already, you know, bringing ourselves into line here. I wonder if we can, is any technology available? Ooh, classic economics. I wouldn't mind to get that there. Maybe for conscription. Fantastic. That's going to improve our income already. And talking of income, my friends, let's have a look at our income here. Let's see what we're going to be getting here. 1,033. Not brilliant at all. Our army upkeep is monstrous. Look at that. The tax income is not brilliant either. So we're going to have to start... Wait a minute. We're going to start increasing our... We've got a lot of trade. Look at the war. We're at war with a huge amount. Swiss Confederation, the Batavian Republic, which is basically um, the Netherlands. We've got Spain, Italia... Um, and these are two offshoots here, Wittenberg and Bayern here, Bavaria. Okay. Policies, I think it's ministers. Oh, let's have a look. We've got here. Treasury is nothing at all here from the Treasury. Not brilliant at all. Look at that. Minus down going down there. That's not too bad. He's a, he's a pretty good minister. But I'd l I want to get the Treasury. The Treasury definitely needs to be better. Plus one to army man administration. Why is he then the, in the treasury? That makes no sense whatsoever. Any of these at all have any good art management of... No. 
So. I don't understand why he's in the treasury, but. He's a tactician, so it looks like they, they're dominated by the military, it looks like the government. <clears throat> a bright... Nah, look, see, now they should be swapped around. That's more like it. There it is. And he, although, although he's not going to give us much diplomatic, he's at least we've swapped him around now, so we've got the treasury in the right place. And these gentlemen here. Look at the navy. Is there any naval... reputation. Oh, look at that, justice. So, this gentleman here can move into justice. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. And who else do we have at our disposal? Anybody else? No, nope, no one else. So we leave that as it is. Trade, as you can see, is flowing in quite nicely. 3885. Hopefully that'll go up as we go along here. Now, let's have a look at what we've got around us here. Now we've got a building, oh, shipyard, a thousand, or a trading port, three hundred. Now I think, let's have a look, we, okay, we're at peace with the Ottomans down here. But we really do need to keep our trade really, really high here. Here, oh, hoo, 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 hoo. we're at war with Italy there, look at that, and they've got gold mines here. I wouldn't want to get my hands on that. And we've got a French army here, it looks like it's defending here, it's sort of this spot. Italian territory here. It looks like it's a proxy. It looks like Italy's a proxy of Napoleon, to be honest with you. We've got Swiss and we're at war with Swiss Confederation. We're at war with Wurttemberg and we're at war with Bavaria. But the main thrust, I think, of this sort of southern flank here is going to be pushing into Italy. Um, now, Rome is peaceful with us and so is Napoline, or Naples, as it were. So, we want to push in, if we can, against Northern Italy and hold this and sort of seize this border area here. The border here of Swiss, Switzerland and also of um, Torino here in France. We're on the border of both our enemies here, but that's going to require quite a powerful thrust in here. Who do they have in here? We don't know quite yet. Oh, look at that. We've got a, we've got a spy. We won't do that just yet. We're going to concentrate on our economy first. So the first thing we need to do is to get these upgraded. So it's going to give us plus three trade route, plus 200 wealth. Right, that's definitely going to be done. That's only 600. We're also going to increase, we're going to build a port, a trading port here as well. How long will that take? Two turns. How long will that take there? Four turns. Okay. So we're going to increase that there. We've got these buildings that aren't being used at all, which is a complete waste. Plus two replenishment in region. I need money. That's what I need money. Plus 200 turn wealth. What is that? I'm manufacturing now. Minus one happiness. And actually, it's good for recruitment in terms of what can we actually get from here? What can we get from Zagreb? Oh, and the road. Oh. So I think what we'll probably do is we'll go for the <coughs> the option that's going to give us benefit at some most, and that's give us a minus one percent recruitment cost because we're going to get probably a lot of more infantry from this region more than anything else. It's also going to give us an income, which is good got this port here. Again, this port will have to be upgraded. We're going to spend approximately a half of our money on our infrastructure, uh, and the rest will be going on the army. Right. Classical University. Absolutely not putting any money into that just yet. And here as well. This could be a weak point here. I don't really put money into this just yet. Sir! What do we have here? Ooh. Oh. Carl von Oostrich Techen. <sighs> Mentioned dispatches. Glorious and Look at that. He's only 34 and he's absolutely fantastic. What can... Ooh. Good. Oh, Military Academy 2000. That's a that's a big spend right there. But look what you can get out of that. Oh, Grenadiers as well. Oh, they look fantastic. What can we actually recruit at the moment? Oh, my word. That's a nice selection already. Oh, look at the artillery here. Seven pounder. Oh, fantastic. Hussars, hussars, basically. We've got any grenadiers. We've got grenadiers. Brilliant. Oh, 
or infrastructure. Let's get the roads up and running as well along here. We need good roads to connect the front line with the interior of the country here. Or the empire, should I say. We've definitely got a lot covered here in terms of Russia being on our side, which is fantastic. Russia does have some good troops here, but we do have Prussia possibly looking a little bit, you know, not too... possibly going to stretch their legs a little bit against us, so I've got to be careful here. We've got a mine here. It's going to give us a hundred. We do need to probably reinforce this army down here, but not just yet. Let's have a look at where we can, we can increase our team. Of course, Vienna, which is the absolute heart of the empire. Look at that, Staff College. So we can actually recruit, <coughs> oh my word, a huge amount of troops down here. 2,000 cobble rows, not yet. Courts of Appeal will that give us plus seven bonus regional wealth. Okay. I think we do need to start increasing our income substantially here. 1,000 for the factory, 400. Nice. But no, that's quite a bit to spend straight away like that. I'm looking for small increments to start with until our economy really kicks in. Stud farm. Yeah, I think we've got the farms up and running here. We've got nothing being done here at all, which is a little bit disturbing. We've got a manufacturing here. 500. I think we'll go for that and get 200 for that. Here. Not, not a lot is being really built here, but, but this this should be quite comfortable here. It's, it's gonna, we're going to have the protection of our erstwhile allies here. So these buildings which aren't being used, got a gunsmith. Yeah, I think we'll stick a market in here. Oh, it's a thousand. That's a big amount to spend on that, really is. I think we'll go for a gunsmith. But I do want to increase the border presence here, along the border here. Oh, we do have an army here, which is good. Is any bordering anything else? Oh, Bavaria. Oh, we're in actually Bavarian territory here. Oh, look at this. We've got these armies hanging around. These should be distributed into one coherent whole here. So we're going to have to sort these armies out. Merchant House, 100. Oh, look at that. That's pretty nice, but that's a big spend. I'm not. Oh, supply depot. I'm not looking for anything too fancy just to start with. I'm not going to blow all of my money before we've gone anywhere, but look at this. Oh. Well, number mill, 150 most naval units in the region. Factory. We'll put that in, of course, with bordering here. And infrastructure, 180 for the basic roads. Well, that's pretty cheap, actually. 1,350, but not yet. 800 for a stud farm. Nope, not yet. If we can get an alliance with Ottomans, that would be fantastic. Two hundred. We're going to spend. Oh, Heldenplatz. What's that give us? Plus three bonus tax on all, all regions. Wow. Oh, and dragoons. But the front, the front line here is going to need to, need to be reinforced quite substantially. We're definitely going to basic roads for better. Ooh, we're on mine, I almost missed that mine. We'll leave this one alone here, just in case it comes under attack. We don't want to waste that money. Um, Cause of justice, not just yet. But we have to watch out that we don't get attacked here. We do have an army in position. Right, let's sort out these armies here. Now, we're at, we're at peace here. Bavaria, we're all of Bavaria, we've got the war here, peace here, so we've got the f French here, what's the French situation with the, with the Prussians, nothing at all, so Prussia hasn't really got anybody on their side at all, but I've got to be wary here, very wary, <coughs> oh secret society, oh spies, excellent, what I am going to do is I'm going to go into defensive here, pull this army back in. It's going to be used to defend this region here, just in case the Prussians decide they want a piece of the action. And we spent approximately half of our money here on the infrastructure. 
and the economy. So we're just a little bit over what we were meant to spend, but I do need these roads to be um, improved and also the ports, which is definitely vital. Excellent. Okay, now this army here is going to be the one that's going to spearhead the attack into northern Italy here. Take out this. Let's have a quick look what we've got available oh. here. Hello. Adolf Holzer. Villa. I think we're going to try and assassinate the general here because this general here is is an experienced general. He's a five-star general, so we're going to try and take him out straight away. Assassinate. No, oh, didn't get him. But what do we find? Nothing at all. Was wünscht ihr? But we are going to do. Let's have a look at the composition. Grenadier, veteran fusiliers, veteran or oh, fusiliers, infantry regiment. We've got a cavalry. We've got twelve one twelve pounder. Let's have a look. I'm going to start moving some of these six pounder into this army. Uh, we're going to also going to put some more. Ca oh, first hussars, fantastic. We're going to overwhelm this French army, and on the back of it. The morale here for these grenadiers or these fusiliers is much better, so we need these in the battle. Right here in Venice, we're going to produce. Oh, look at that! What a beautiful sight. We don't militia. We're definitely going to have some grenadiers. Three turns are going to take for that. One, two, three here. I think here. We are going to recruit. Oh, look at this army here. These armies here are. Uh, who's the best general here? Without the shadow of a doubt, the general here. Karl Mach von Liebrich. Great general. Or plus three. Cruelly mocked, but he's plus two actually because he's got that there. Let's have a look at this gentleman here. What's he like? Superior general. Yeah. He might be 24. He might be the general to the lead. So I'm going to go and take this gentleman out. He is going to go into here. He's going to lead the attack. My Lord. Ferdinand von Oostrich Easter. And we're going to put definitely our fusiliers in here. And we're going to have oh, heavy cavalry, 108 of them. Oh, oh, oh. It's a beautiful sight, my friends. It really is. Definitely, oh look at that veteran fusilier, it's definitely in there. We're gonna have a, we have a powerful army in this, on this front here. And we'll just put one, we we'll put the battalion here on. That's more like it. Now this one goes in general, we're gonna build an army here in Salzburg. And this is a members club here and a secret society, but we're gonna put Salzburg, it's gonna be one of the places where we do start to increase our, so increase that there. I definitely need to get this army up here. But they would attack probably through the valley here in Silesia. And that's down there, I don't like that at all. One four, one five. That's not too bad there. We've done pretty good here. I think this will be the actually we can get better units here in Moravia. Much, much better units here. We'll get, we'll get three grenadiers. And we've got a heavy cab as well next time, I think. Vienna, again. That's cool. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh my word, 12 pounder. But we could. We need to start off here. I think we'll get some straight infantry units here. I think we get a 12 pounder. That's all we can do at the moment. It's going to put quite a strain here on our economy, but it's what we need to do. We've got to punch through here pretty quickly if we can get rid of this general here. And hopefully take if we can take Bavaria out immediately. Bring this under our control. Ooh. Risen to fog occupation is going to be absolutely huge. We're going to keep an army in there for a long time. But 190 coming in would be a benefit to us. Get in there. <laughs> 
They've got a lot of militia. Oh, they've got Bavarian. Oh, look at that accuracy there. Bavarian line infantry. Gordon Bennett, that is. That is. A, they are three fantastic regiments. We've got artillery, then we've got cavalry, which is probably going to be after our benefit. Five turns. We're going to maintain the siege. We're going to actually, we're going to actually put another regiment in here, I think. Just to give it that oomph, we're going to go straight on the attack here, Bavaria. We're going to link up here and secure our flank here. This will give us a huge economic boost. But it'll bring us in contact with Wittenberg. But what we want to do is push on here. I do need to take out this army here as well. This French army. Some point attacking them as well. Ooh. What do you have here? Granateria. Ligeria. These could be quite decent units. But I need to push in. I need to get rid of this French army that's here. I think we've probably got enough to do that. Not sure what they've got here, but can't risk anything else coming in. We're going to go and attack straight away. Ooh, ooh, look, ooh, blimey. They've got eight grenadiers. Oh, they've got fusiliers, veteran fusiliers. They've got a... A battery that could be an eight-pounder. They've got heavy cav. But we've got our own heavy cav as well. We've got light. We've got regiment cavalry. We've got two reg two guns. We should be able to gun with this. Gonna be the one I'm going to focus on is these here. Right, let's do this, my friends. Let's take this fight. Let's take this fight here. The first fight already of this campaign. Karl von Oosterich-Kechen against Jean-André Massina. Oh, indeed, my friends. We shall not hold back here. The first battle already. The first attack. If we can take Italy, my friends, we, we've then got this sort of southern flank, this Mediterranean sort of flank then secured here. It's going to give us a, a sort of breathing space where we're going to have, you know, a buffer zone between our economy, our sort of heartland, um, which is Austria, and sort of the Roman Empire. Remember, no, um, uh, the French Empire. Remember, France will just not sit by and allow us to do this without any repercussions. France is exceptionally powerful, so we have to be sure that we're absolutely on the ball here. And then we take these fights when we can, and attack our enemy when we can. Ooh, 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 not a bad deployment at all. Oh, look, cheapers, creepers, look how many cavalry, 123 hussars. And let's have a look at them, oh my word, oh my word. I, oh, look at that, look at the modelling on that, that is beautiful. The herringbone, oh my word, that is absolutely fantastic. Look at the cannons. Oh, oh, oh. They have excelled here in this mod. Oh my word, this is phenomenal. I have, This is like a dream come true. Oh, look at these. Absolutely brilliant. Right, we've got a huge amount of cavalry which we're going to use to our advantage here. And oh, there's the French. General staff. What we do need is absolutely pound them to pieces here. So what we are going to do... We've got a general here. Now this is a pretty nice ridge here, actually, a good mound here. Let's put these. They're hidden here, that's great. Right, our cannon, we're going to bring onto the top of this mound here, as it were. We're going to fire into this deployment zone. Bring them under fire control. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Here, they're hidden here as well, but we are going to push through this forest. So I want to push through the forest as quickly as yes, we can. For these hussars, gentlemen. And then we're gonna we're gonna have to attack them. So we're gonna keep here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we're gonna try and keep our troops. We're gonna move in on two fronts here. One front here, and one front straight on here, slightly off centre. Yes, perfect, absolutely perfect. We're going to use the cavalry if we can here. But I want to try and <clears throat> split that deployment up if I can. Let's begin the battle, my friends. Gentlemen, move. 
Oh, yes. I'm gonna cut this road right here. We're gonna go through the forest. Slow motion. Running, sir. What the they already? Good grief. Why are you not firing, sir? Oh, did you see that? What the blazes? Steady now, steady now. Lost one port cavalry already. Steady. General staff that would break them. Why not, General? Let's try and close the door on them here. on the Grenadiers.
no good at all. Better not that steady.
running. They've had enough. The Extreme Army is prevailed. But only just, my friends. Only just.
broken. Run, but I don't care as long as they get into what they need to do. Now they must break! Yes, we did it, my friends. Holy smokes, what a fight that was. Wow. That was a heck of a fight. Cheapers, creepers, every single battle here is going to be huge. We lost 538 men compared to the 362. Wow, right just there. absolutely yes, wow. Sir. We're going to pull back a bit next time, I think, as well, my friends. We've got this under siege here, but this is going to be a heck of a battle, especially against these, especially against these, these line infantry. Cheapers, creepers. Wow, we are really going to have to be on a ball here, my friends. We really, really are. We'll do one turn, my friends, and then we'll probably bring this episode to an end because that, that battle was huge. These battles are going to be fantastic. Right, let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what happens here, at least. Let's see how France responds. Whoa, straight away they're going to rip. Jeepers, creepers, they're bringing them in. They're bringing the big guns. Ooh, this could be fun, especially with the British hopefully going to come to our aid against France. I'm just hoping they're going to do something. Ah, Russia. Russia, do not move away from the Western Front. Come towards the Western Front. Okay. They're going to be really helpful, the Russians, right there. Denmark, good trading partner. Spain. They're going to capture all of these trading ports here, which we, we're not going to be focused on just yet, but wow. Oh, Bavaria, we've captured it. I think we'll peacefully or we can liberate. But there's no point in that. We've got a thousand there, we need that. Yes, we've taken it without even a shot being fired. They surrendered. Looks like France is... Whoa. Wow, that... That is going to be quite the fight there. What are they bringing it behind here? G 
Jeepers creepers, that's a that's gonna be a huge It's gonna cost us 555. Let's do that my friends. To bring that up there, the drill school. Yes. Ooh, forging an alliance. Our oh, sister nation, the Alps and the Rhinelander for themselves. Give Prussia's face a similar disprospect penetration. Ooh, get an alliance. Confederation of the Rhine. Although nominally independent states, the German lands along the case of the Rhine are, are the pawns, the so called of France, the Lords bend the Grand Emperor, kiss the boots like any of the lackeys. There's no time. For you can stand either with us or against us. They have chosen. We must, in all aspects, regard these territories as French possessions. Right. So we need to get try and get an alliance, if possible, with Prussia. See if we could, if they would agree. Yes, we've done it. Wow, that is so fantastic. We've actually done it, my friends. We forged the alliance, and we've also got ourselves now another thousand gold there for doing so. This army is. Infrastructure. We get the base rows up. I think here we can start investing. We'll leave these towns alone. We're not going to do anything with these towns just yet. There's absolutely no point in doing that. What we are going to do is pull this army yeah. back. We've done some damage to the French army there, which is what we wanted to do. And we're going to replenish, and repair here, and we are going to definitely, definitely bring in these el these elite troops here. And I think we're also going to have some heavy cavalry. There's going to be a quite the fight here in in Italy. Now, can I respond? Meine Augen gehören euch. Meine Augen gehören euch. Ungesehen, ungehört. Undetected. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He's going to make himself known here. We're at war with Italy anyway, and with France. It doesn't matter. We're going to keep this borderland quite well protected here. What can we spend the rest of our money on here? We do need to invest everything we can here. We've got those being recruited here. We are now ad allied with Prussia, which means our our strength is now increased along the border. So we can actually pull probably troops out of the borderlands here. Particularly here in Prague. Mind you, we do have Saxon here. They are probably going to be okay with us at the moment. We actually get an alliance with them there. Yes, even better. The diplomatic. Oh, that's fantastic. That's we have secured this flank, which means this army here can actually be freed up to be actually moved up to here to the border to defend against these French fiends. Actually, we need a husband our strength. We're going to put my this army here. We're going to be attacked here by these French forces. And we've given these a real good thrashing here, but we've sent our men back as well. I'm not going to put anything in there at all. Not yet. What have we got coming in next turn? One, oh, 1657, even better. Right, let's start improving some of the, the rear areas here, which we have got protected by our allies, the Russians. get that will definitely increase our our strength there indeed and I think my friends we are going to bring to an end what has been a very successful very exciting first episode my friends we have finally captured our first territory Bavaria without a shot being fired which is absolutely fantastic we get the dr drill school up and running which will give us oh look at that very, very nice cavalry and a regiment there. What does it enable us to recruit these two here? Which is going to be fantastic. Let's have a look what they do. Accuracy 20, reloading skill 55, and range 70, which is good. Good all round cavalry, light charge tactics, skirmishes. Light skirmishes, not bad at all, but we're going to bring them up anyway. Got the infrastructure being increased your basic roads and increase our trade and the movement to the front. We've got alliances with Prussia with Saxony and with uh, Russia, so we completely secure here. What if we can get an alliance with the Ottomans? If we could secure this... No, they're not really going to be that 
Otherwise, we'd have secured all our southern front as well, which would have been fantastic. But we are indeed, my friends, doing pretty well here at the moment. We've also given this French army a good thrashing here and sent it packing back here, but it will replenish. But we have given them a warning that we're going to be coming from. But I'm going to have to increase this army substantially to to fight into Milan. We're going to have to take Milan. I want to take Milan to secure this southern redoubt here and really put a dent and, put and threaten Genoa here and threaten these French lands here and hopefully you know capture the most of the Mediterranean seaboard as it were um, we're going to definitely start now look at that see they're already upgrading some other things here so I definitely want to put Italy out of the war as it were and look at the income here 1464 what a fantastic income that would be for us so we're definitely going to keep eye on this we're going to have to push harder though mind you they have had a baptism of fire as it were it's going to take quite a while for these to re be replenished but my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please comment, like, and subscribe. As always, my friends, please keep your comments coming down below. They all will always be welcome, my friends. And always, please let me know what you think I should do. Let me know your strategies, your tactics. They are invaluable to me. They really are. Hope you've enjoyed this first episode, my, my friends, of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Um, and this is down to you, my friends. A fantastic suggestion by all of you. I hope you're going to enjoy it as much as I think I'm going to enjoy this as well. But until next time, my friends, bye for now.